The Brisbane Raw revolution continues. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Lockie. This is Coastwood Football, and we are back for another episode of the Brisbane Raw Korea mode. Currently sitting in second place. We struggled in the first season, but we have absolutely turned things around. Our lineup has been looking very good of late. Mohamed Toure has been a superb signing on loan from France. Garen Kowal as well in on loan from Newcastle United. Demi Petratus has been a decent pickup as well. Some question marks over Jordan Holmes, though. In our last episode, he had some really disappointing performances. Is we might have to look at bringing in a different goalkeeper for the rest of the season. First match of the episode, Adelaide away. Always a tough game. Forward players nice here. Petratos inside for Toure against his former side. Opens the scoring within five minutes. Incredible. Adelaide coming down the left through Craig Goodwin, who's in behind. Geordie Holmes can't save it again. Dude, we have to get rid of him. I think it's time to move on from Jordan Holmes. Surely he has to be saving that. Disappointing again. Jordan Holmes needs to get his body in front of that shot. Craig Goodwin has finished too easily there. Truen chipping it up. Nice flick on for Petratos. Outside of the boot saved. It's a chance here for Petratos. Flicking it on for Toure, who hits it. Just wide. And we've got to settle for a 1-1 draw here. Way to Adelaide. Could be a valuable point, though. After some lacklustre performances from our goalkeeper, Jordan Holmes, it is time to bring in a new goalkeeper. And we have found former Premier League goalkeeper, Jack Butland, who is currently listed as a free agent. We're going to see if we can bring him into the club. All right. Sounds good. It is happening. Jack Butland coming over to the A-League to join Brisbane Raw as our first choice keeper. A very good pickup indeed. He's 72 rated overall, which is certainly an improvement from Jordan Holmes. All right. It is time to see him through a couple more games away to Sydney FC. Jack Butlin's first game in the A-League. It ends in a draw. Garen Kowal with a late equaliser for the Raw there. Well, it is transfer deadline day now, and we've got a huge offer for Kai Truen. Over $2 million, which considering our small budget, that is a massive offer. I think we're going to take it. Kai Truen, a promising player with a bright future. He's deserved his move overseas. So here we go. Kai Truen departing Brisbane Raw. Heading over to Turkey, a well-deserved move. All right, we are trying to make a deal here for a Mobile late in the transfer window. It is deadline day. After that Kai Truen move, we've got some money in the transfer budget. We're going to see if we can bring Mobile to the club. And it's happening. a Mobile back to the A-League, just 28 years of age. Still has plenty, of, plenty to offer. And 70 rated overall. He is an upgrade on that left wing. And this is not what we wanted to hear. After letting Kai Truen go, Massimo Luongo, our key defensive midfielder, has dislocated his shoulder and he's going to be up for up to two months. Well, we've had to adapt after that injury to Massimo Luongo. So here's how the lineup is going to look moving forward. We're going to shift things around. A 4 4 2. So we're going to start Patrick Wood and Mo Toure together, which may be a bit of a gamble, but hopefully it works out. Mabil off the left, Kual off the right. So we've got Gomorha coming in as our main defensive midfielder, playing alongside Dimitri Petratos, who is slotting back as one of those other central midfielders that same back four as well home game the Perth glory here and it ends in a 1-1 draw and in a tough match away to Melbourne City here we go down 3-2 so here is how the ladder stands 16 games have been played for the Brisbane Raw we currently sit in third place on the ladder but things are still looking pretty tight we're just three points off the top all right this is a big match for the club we are taking on Wellington Phoenix next who knocked us out of a, a chance to finish in finals last season so we're going in heading for revenge in this game. Nabil again. This is good play. Patrick Wood finishes. We break the deadlock and Brisbane take the lead. Lovely move. Ail Mobile playing it inside. And then the pass on from Millie's niche. Patrick Wood scores. Another opportunity brewing here. Surely now Patrick Wood's in again. And he finishes to make it 2-0. Patrick Wood. Well done, son. Wellington looking to get one back. Great save, Jack Butland. Able Mobile forward for Miliuznic. The two former Adelaide players linking up. Miliuznic makes it 3 0. We get our revenge and another huge three points for the Raw. Newcastle Jets away. We get another win on the road. Petrados with a hat trick in this game against his former club. And MacArthur away ending in a draw. Garen Kowal with another goal for Brisbane. So here's the run in to the end of the season. Two matches against Mariners. Then we've got Western Jets, Glory and Phoenix. And finishing off a big home game against Melbourne City. Away to the Mariners here. My team in real life. Can we continue our good form and get a win on the road here? Mariners moving the ball well and Jack Butland has made a great reflex save there. Here's Matt Hatch, the former Central Coast Mariner, against his former club, playing it inside, and he just gets cut out. 
Barron is in the box and finishing is Jason Cummings. Gets the ball past Jack Butland. Central Coast take the lead with the signature celebration to Jason Cummings. Forward play is good. Great pass from Toure to release Patrick Wood. Can we equalize? We can! Patrick Wood in super form and gets one back for the raw. We're back in this game. Oh, good opportunity here. Falling in the box here for Wood. It's Kowal almost scoring against his former team. Corner delivery from Petratus is good for Curtis Good. Surely it's in. It didn't cross the line. What an opportunity. Oh, Mariners are sneaking in behind here. Jack Butler stays strong. Patrick Wood making this run. Can we find a late winner? Wood! Oh my goodness, what a save. Oh, the late challenge. What have we done? Curtis Good picks up the yellow card and Mariners have a penalty right at the death. Jason Cummings has already scored once tonight up against Jack Butland. Surely. No. Mariners break Brisbane Raw Hearts and score late here. All right, we need to respond here at home against the Mariners. We're simming it through and we get our revenge in the end. Petratos, Toure and Wood all on the score sheet. Western United at home here. Always a tricky match. And we take the draw in the end. Patrick Wood with a late equaliser. Newcastle Jets at home. Often a bogey side for Brisbane Raw, especially at home. 2-1 win. Kowal and Wood with the goals. A tough match. Perth Glory away. A long trip from Brisbane. Glory get the three points. And then another big away trip for Brisbane against Wellington Phoenix. We beat them last time and we get the win on the road. A huge three points. Matt Hatch scoring his first goal for Brisbane. So we have one game remaining in the season and it is against Melbourne City who currently sit top. A win against City and we can claim our Premier's plate. The first Premier's plate in over a decade for Brisbane Raw. What a turnaround it has been for Brisbane Raw. 45 goals scored in 25 Isuzu Ute A-League games. The vibes around Suncorp Stadium are good. Forward play here is good. Garen Kowal have got some good movement. Out left here is Matt Hatch on the overlap. Can we find a player centrally? Hanging it up. Moture, it's in. Huge header and a huge goal in the context of the Premier's plate race. Mohamed Toure, what a signing he has been. Another beautiful goal. Matty Hatch, look at this delivery. And the leap from Toure. His defender was standing still. Brilliant finish. Melbourne City looking to hit back instantly. Can they find their way through? They can now, but Jack Butland pulls out a superb save. He has made the difference for us in the run into the finals this year. Jack Butland, great signing. Garen Kowal feeding it inside for Luongo, who's back from injury and almost teeing it up. This is Mabil. Look at the players moving forward here. Teeing up Dimitri Petranos. Can he make it two? What a finish. Oh, if you don't mind, the outside of the boot from Petratos back in the A-League. And look at that finish. Pass Sutton in the goals. Oh, look at this. Mohamed Toure just blazing away down the left. Surely now, Mohamed Toure makes it 3-0. Brisbane Raw finishing first. What a second season for the club. Melbourne City looking for a consolation goal here. Inside the box. Can we hold a clean sheet? Jack Butler, no. Oh, dude, the clean sheet would have been beautiful. It's not going to matter, though. And that's it. It is full time. Brisbane Raw claimed the Premier's plate in just our second season with the club. What a turnaround. This has been beautiful, but the job is not done yet. It is time for finals. Let's go. So here's how the table looks at the end of the season. We finished top with 47 points, 13 wins, 8 draws, and 5 losses. Melbourne City just behind in second. And here's the rest of the ladder. Sydney FC, Wanderers, Adelaide, Western. They make up the final sides. Wellington, Mariners, Victory, Jets, MacArthur, and Glory all missing out on the top six. In the elimination finals, Western United won against Sydney FC away. Fourth round penalties. And Adelaide United winning away to Western Sydney Wanderers. So this is how the semi finals look. It's Brisbane hosting Western United and Melbourne City against Adelaide United. Finals football returns to Suncorp Stadium and it is Western United, the champions from 2022 here at our home. These Brisbane Road fans have suffered through some tough years but have returned. Can they make their way all the way through to claim the toilet seat? Oh my god. Western have scored first. It's Lucky Wales. 
Well, Weston just slipped his pass in. Lockie Wales comes in off the right and finishes. We are down early in this semi-final. Awomobile springing down the left-hand side. Can we find the chance? Toure! Yes! 1-1 one, one in the semi-final. Toure, reliable as ever. Petrados in midfield, playing it through for Mobil. Great chance. Mobil makes it 2-1. Raw take the lead in the semi. Suncorp Stadium, love it. Great goal here. Petratos with that through ball. And how about this for a finish from Mobil? Tight angle, and he got it done. Got to stay disciplined at the back here. Pasquale, and the shot is well saved by Jack Butland. 2-1, we lead heading into this second half. Still very tight. There comes in, Awan Mobil. Petratos, three. Brisbane Raw are set to head into the grand final. It's Petratos. Toure looking for Wood, almost sneaking in. It's it. <laughs> they somehow got it through, and Patrick Wood makes a 4-1 in the semi-final. Incredible. Well, the ball came over the top from Toure, and I thought the chance was gone. Somehow Patrick Wood went all the way and makes it four. Here's Mobile on the left. Wood has found a bit of space, and he's teeing it up for Toure, who makes it 5-1 in the semi-final. This is a smashing. Well, Western United with a penalty chance here. Foul in the box. Tom Aldred again. We were going in for the tackle. He's timed it on Connor Payne. Earlier consolation goal here. Ends up in the back of the net. And that's it. Brisbane Raw qualify for the grand final after a huge 5-2 win against Western United. Huge performance. Well, in the other semi-final, Melbourne City got a 1-0 victory over Adelaide. So we meet City once again, this time in the grand final, 2024. First grand final for the Raw since 2014 when they defeated Western Sydney Wanderers at home. Mohamed Toure playing to watch in this grand final. Four goals in his last three games. The stage is set. And look at that. Jack Butland has been a fantastic... In front of the... Melbourne City supporters? Uh, giant, I love that. Dude, what a way to rub it in the faces of Melbourne City supporters. Just put a giant banner of Jack Butland in front of them. And there's the trophy, the toilet seat. And we have kickoff. Petrados whipping it in. Still on. Great chance. First opportunity of the grand final. What a save. Petrados for Kowal. Good chance. Here's Toure. Oh my goodness me. What a save. Melbourne City looking to create their first chance of the match. And it comes in. Great chance there. Jack Butland tips it over the crossbar. Darren Kowal winning the ball in a good area in the park. Patrick Wood getting it away for Mobile. This front four has been superb all season. The long ball for Kowal didn't work out. Well, after a cagey first half, it is still nil all tightly balanced. We're going to go short here. Petratos from the bill who crosses. Inside is Aldred. Oh my god, wouldn't have that been the fairy tale of Tommy Aldred, the captain scored? CT looking for the chance. Oh my goodness, almost a mess up at the back. Late on in this grand final, it is still scoreless. Can we create the opportunity? Garen Kowal, can he get around his defender? It's a great challenge from Geordie Boss. Luongo. Luongo? Oh my god. What a goal that would have been to win the grand final. Late on in this grand final, Aldred back out wide for Petratos, who can recycle it for Luongo. Patrick Wood. City driving forward with seconds ticking by. City with a great chance. It's in. Oh my gosh. Brisbane Raw's heart's broken with the last kick of the game. 1-0 to City. They win it at the death. Well, despite stumbling at the final hurdle, this has been a really successful season for Brisbane Raw. Returning to the summit of the A-leg ladder, picking up the Premier's plate. We didn't manage to claim the championship. City celebrate that one. But Raw Salona has well and truly return, returned, ladies and gentlemen. Some great signings for the club. Some good youthful signings coming in. And Brisbane Raw have turned into a powerhouse of the A-League once again. But Melbourne City are champions once again of the Isuzu Ute A-League.
And that is the final episode of our Brisbane Rock career mode. If you want to see more FIFA career mode A-League content, feel free to comment down below which team you would like me to see do next. Or potentially, we can create a club and do an A-League All-Stars concept, maybe put them in the Premier League, see how they go there. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So comment your thoughts down below. We'd love to hear if you guys would like to see more A-League FIFA content. But my name's Lucky. This is Coast Football. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.